dear students welcome to the problem solving session part 4 on pde in the first session we learn how to eliminate arbitrary constants from the given equation from the pde and the third session we learn how to eliminate arbitrary functions from the given equation to form the pde we did four problems we can just have a quick recap on this in today's session we are going to do few more problems how to eliminate the given functions from the equation to form the pde let us go into the problems find the pde by eliminating the function phi from the given equation take the equation as 1 now we have to differentiate 1 partially with respect to x first so when i differentiate partially with respect to x y is considered to be a constant so we have x is it alone now we have to use uv rule product rule so differentiation of x partially with respect to x is 1 into z then differentiation of z partially with respect to x is 1 into do z by do x into x on the right hand side we have phi dash of x plus y plus z into differentiation of x plus y plus z is 1 plus 0 plus do z by do x and we know that do z by do x is simply p and do z by do y is q now we can replace this we get y into z plus xp is equal to phi dash of x plus y plus z into 1 plus p simplifying further we get y z plus xyp is equal to phi dash of x plus y plus z into 1 plus p let us take this as equation 2 and then we have to differentiate one again partially with respect to y whenever i differentiate with respect to y then x is going to be constant then we have only two terms y z we have to apply product rule again differentiation of y partially with respect to y is 1 into z then differentiation of z partially with respect to y is 1 into do z by do y into y on the right hand side we get phi dash of x plus y plus z then differentiation of x plus y plus z partially with respect to y is 0 plus 1 plus q now rewriting this we get x into z plus q y is equal to phi dash of x plus y plus z into 1 plus q simplifying further on the left hand side we can take this as equation 3 now i want to eliminate this phi dash of x plus y plus z from equation 2 and 3 so just i want to divide 2 by 3 and further simplification we get the solution simplifying this term by cross multiplication and then we try to cancel some terms and we try to club the terms to get the simplified solution now we can cancel this two terms both left hand side and right hand side we can see some x and p are common similarly for the case of y we can see yq here and yq here so let us assemble all these terms together so xyp minus xzp plus yzq minus xyq is equal to xz minus yz now we can take xp in common we get y minus z here we can take yq in common we get yq into z minus x is equal to z into x minus y so this is the required pde hope you understand students now sometimes they can ask question like this a function of u and v or phi of uv equal to 0 now how to eliminate this phi i am going to solve the same problem in two different methods whatever it is convenient for you you can proceed the first one i am going to rewrite this given equation as x square plus y square plus z square is equal to some function f of x plus y plus z now if i convert like this then as like the previous problem i can easily solve it now rewriting this i'll take this as equation equation 1 now i am going to differentiate one partially with respect to x and partially with respect to y and then i will eliminate the function f to get the pde now differentiating one partially with respect to x we get 2x plus 2z into do z by do x is equal to f dash of x plus y plus z into 1 plus 0 plus do z by do x this is nothing but 
2x plus 2z p is equal to f dash of x plus y plus z into 1 plus p. Let me take this as equation 2. In the similar way, now we have to differentiate 1 partially with respect to y and we'll get equation 3. From 2 and 3, we can easily eliminate this f dash and simplifying this, we get the required solution. Now, differentiating 1 partially with respect to y, we get 2y plus 2z into dou z by dou y is equal to f dash of x plus y plus z into 0 plus 1 plus dou z by dou y. Substituting dou z by dou y as q, we get 2y plus 2zq is equal to f dash of x plus y plus z into 1 plus q. Then take this as equation 3. Now from 2 and 3, I can easily eliminate this f dash of x plus y plus z. Dividing 2 by 3, I can eliminate this f dash. Now again, we have to cross multiply and simplify to give the final solution. Now we can take this 2 in common and we can cancel it and we have to do the cross multiplication and then simplifying the LHS and RHS, we get this. We can cancel ZPQ on both sides and as like the previous problem, we have to assemble P and Q. So, we have ZP minus PY, XQ minus ZQ is equal to Y minus X. Now, I can take P common, we get P into Z minus Y, Q into X minus Z is equal to Y minus X. This is your final solution. Sometimes in some books, they multiply this with minus on both sides. So, we get y minus z into p plus z minus x into q is equal to x minus y as the final solution. Both are correct. You can see the typed version. Next, we are going to solve the same problem in the other method. If the given problem is like phi of u comma v equal to 0 or f of u comma v equal to 0, now, let us take the two functions as u and v. Find dou u by dou x. I am writing directly 2x plus 2z. We get dou z by dou x. I am writing it as p. Then dou u by dou y. 2y plus 2z q. Similarly, dou v by dou x. That is 1 plus p. Dou v by dou y. It is 1 plus q. Now, the required PDE we can easily get from the determinant that is ux, ui, vx, vy equal to 0. Just substitute the content which we found in the previous slide and now cross multiplying this, we are going to get the same equation after the simplification. So, either you can follow this or the previous technique. Both are same. Hope you understand. And next, this problem is practice problem for you. You can solve by yourself. Once you solve, you can see the solution in the screen. Now, I will give one more hint for you. If you solve the problem like phi of u comma v equal to 0, when you want to rewrite, it is not necessary always you take the first one on the left hand side that is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to f of x plus y plus z. Even you can take this first and you can write x plus y plus z is equal to f of x square plus y square plus z square. So, either you solve with this or this, you are going to get the same solution. So, you can do whatever you like. I am just telling this because some student may get doubt they always think that you should take the first one to the left hand side. So, it is not necessary. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.